Hey everyone and welcome to VFX Vibe once again. Today's video is going to be a very exciting video because we are going to see how we can do cleanup inside Nuke by using Photoshop. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, here you can see I have a footage in which I have a car moving and few more cars are moving. So our requirement is to remove this car, but this time you want to create our clean plate inside Photoshop, but we are not going to create clean plate on single frame. Instead, we are going to create our clean plate in sequence format. So how we can do that? Let's jump to Photoshop. Here we have Photoshop open and I'm going in file and what you need to do that just you need to go on open and here I have in my scan plate folder just select first frame and you need to take care about image sequence. You need to check image sequence and hit open. Also you need to take care about frame rate should be as our uh, scan plate right so in my case my frame rate is 60 frame per second in your case it might be 24 25 30 depending upon what kind of video you're using yes i'm going to hit ok and here i have my uh, footage but i don't have any control to play that thing so how we can do that just go to window and here we have timeline so as i'm going to click on timeline i have my timeline and here you can see easily when i'm going to hit space bar it's going to play right also here you can see i have my video group right so i'm going to right click over here and ungroup my uh, layers and i'm going to freeze transform it right now we need to define our source and target right the source will be that frame from where we are going to take our source and target will be that frame on which we are going to paint right so before doing that i'm going to in uh, i'm going in layer menu and here i have an option called a uh, video layers and i'm going to take new blank layer right so this will be the layer where we are going to paint and same way I'm going suppose that I want to paint uh, on frame number might be 34 right I'm going to paint on frame number 34 but my source should be my last frame right somewhat my source should be my last frame and before uh, selecting our source also what you need to take care about that just go to clone tool setting by the way i have selected my clone tool over here so just go to clone source setting and just you need to switch off clipped and show overlay right after doing that what i'm going to do i'm going to hold down alt and i'm going to pick source where i want to paint right just i'm going to click alt hold alt and going to left click it right and after that i'm going on which frame where i want to paint and that will be my frame number might be 34 right so that will be my frame number 34 where i want to paint now the trick is hold on shift and alt and you can see you have your source so i need to align it hold down alt and shift and just try to align your source right so I will recommend you to spend some extra time to align your source with your target and once it is aligned you are ready to go. Okay, so for the sake of this example, I'm okay with the alignment, but I'll recommend you to please spend some extra time. Now just you need to go and you need to start painting something like that and you can easily see i am painting very quickly right so same way spend some time in your alignment and the thing will be very easier for you right so i think i have done my painting or i don't need to paint anything i want to match some textures as well okay so I think I'm done with my painting. After painting, you need to export your clean plate for Nuke. So how we can do that? Just go to file, save as, and I will recommend just go to your folder cleanup. And I will recommend to save it in TIFF cause I think it's more or less good uh, file format to save. And might be I'm going to save it like clean plate. 
something like that and just hit save option will pop up but we don't need to change anything just hit ok minimize it and just jump to nuke so i'm going to import my uh, file clean plate just see i have my this thing and this thing keep it in mind that we painted on frame number 34 right here in nuke my frame is starting on frame number 369 so what i need to do that i need to add my frames so that i can align my uh, source and target inside nuke as well so might be 369 and uh 34 would be 403 so i am guessing my frame is 403 which is 34 inside nuke so don't get confused so now what i can do now i can take a roto node right and i'm going to make my shape because i want to clean this thing right so just i'm going to take my shape and here i'm going to take merge node and just connect my merge with my roto and i'm going to put one over here right and just hit mask so i have this uh, shape right and again I'm, i can take one more merge and it will be a over b so what what will happen just see it's all gone but when i'm going to play it you can easily see it's not aligning cause I have movement in my uh, main frame, main scan plate, but we don't have movement in my patch. So how we can do that? Just to save some time, I did my 2D tracking. I'll recommend ki just if you want to go with 3D tracking, it's all okay. If you're okay with 2D tracking, go with it. If you're okay with planar tracking, just go with it. So I have my basic tracking over here. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my tracker and I'm going to uh, export transform match move baked. If you want to know more about 2D tracking, I have already made several videos. I will recommend you to go and just check. So I'm, I'm going to create it. Okay, so before creating what you need to take care about that, just double click on tracker, just go to a uh, tracker uh, transform tab and you need to take care about your reference frame should be that frame on which you have painted, right? So in this case, I have painted on frame number 403. So you need to set to current frame, right? So your uh, reference frame should be 403 so i'm going on frame number 403 and set to current frame right so this should be correct right and after that i'm going on tracker and i'm going to export that thing now i'm going over here and I'm, if i'm going to uh, play it you can easily see i have my motion baked inside my clean plate right after that what i can do i can merge my this thing on top of my main plate so you can easily see i have my cleanup ready but one problem will be there right so when the scooter will come now just see what what's happening when the scooter is come coming so reflection is not managing and something i am getting over here right so what i can do how i can fix it just double click on a roto shape and just take care about that I need to expand this roto shape a little, not much, right? One more problem will come when this scooter guy is coming, I am cutting my reflection, right? So how you can fix it? Just I'm going to take another roto shape and just look by it and I'm going to make a quick shape and might be feather it a little and and just mask it out right something like that okay i'm done with that so what what else we can do i can take a merge node right i can take a merge node i'm going to mask it out mask and after that in fact i'm going to connect this thing with over here and i'm going to take another mask another merge sorry another merge and i'm going to paste it on top of it so what i'm going to do i'm going to paste my reflection on top of everything so what will happen i'm having 
good amount of reflection and now a little problem is there so i can fix it easily it's not a big deal i need to uh, just roto it out a little or might be i can take a blur node and i can just feather it little so it's all gone right so this is the way how we can do that but one more problem will be there what will be that problem let's figure it out if i am going to hit b on keyboard just to see my grain and here you can easily see i have my grain over here i have my grain over here but i don't have grain moving on this area so how we can fix it just see i am going to take a node called uh, f free grain right f free grain and i'm going to connect my grain with my original footage and source with my this footage right and probably i can choose source at this area so easily i can see i have my grain moving on top of that means i am taking source of grain from main scan plate and i am putting back it to my uh, clean plate right so that's the simple thing okay so now let me arrange my files little something like that and if i'm going to connect my every grain from this place and connect this with this place but always remember if you are regraining it you need to add one more a node called unpremult before regrain and premult after regrain just to avoid any kind of artifacts right and if i'm going to play my final view just you can see i have my grain matched so i hope this is uh, clear to everyone little technical but i hope it's easy to understand right so uh, i am hoping that today's tips and tricks video is helpful to you and if you feel that today's video is helpful to you please don't forget to like share and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wfxy signing off have a good day